सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल एंड आम डॉक्टर सौरभ दीक्षित योर मेंटर फॉर सर्जरी सो टूडे आई हैव गॉट अ वेरी 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 इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक फॉर यू एंड द टॉपिक इज गैस्ट्रो इंटेस्टाइनल वैस्कुलर रिलेशन रिमेंबर वी ऑल स्टडी जी आई ब्लीड इन विच वी कवर अ लॉट ऑफ रिलेशन विच कॉज ब्लीडिंग इन टू द जी आई ट्रैक्ट बट हेयर इट्स अ बिट डिफरेंट सो आई हैव जस्ट ट्राई टू शो कॉज एन एलगोरिथम फॉर यू अ फ्लो चार्ट फॉर यू वेर आई वुड बी डिस्कसिंग द the concepts and uh, the causes of the gastrointestinal vascular relations so let us try to uh, start this and understand so when we talk about gastro intestinal vascular relations what do we mean in this so we are going to talk about any lesion which can cause uh, which is a source of gi bleed also or which is a source of bleed from git the the in both the senses it's a bit different because gi bleed means bleeding into the gi tract and in this broad you can say term that we are understanding we include all the causes where you can have a vascular bleed so pre predominantly when we talk about the gastrointestinal vascular relation if we bifurcate them the first thing that you need to understand is they may be extrinsic so when we talk about the extrinsic factors they may not be from the in uh, you can say they may not be generating into the in 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 the gi tract basically so there may be lot of extrinsic factors and what are they students it's it may be trauma so trauma i mean i'm talking about vascular trauma it may be due to obstruction because of some additions so external compression so external compression and then third that we have it could be because of the bowel strangulation so like when you talk about volvulus is turning of mesentery twisting of mesentery so bowel strangulation so these are the classical you can say extrinsic factors which are responsible as a you can say gastrointestinal vascular lesions now when we talk about the intrinsic one what are the things that we need to understand now in the intrinsic category we have lot of things coming into role play what are these students it could be because of uh, the neoplasm this is one very important thing it could be because of uh, some inflammation it may be because of some inflammation so it may be inflammatory then it could be some obstructive so it could be obstructive or it could be structural so there are four basic you can say domains in which we are going to discuss this so when we talk about inflammatory it's very simple we are talking about vasculitis when we are talking about the neoplasm there are two broad categories into which we will see these neoplasms the first is we have the endothelial vascular tumors so we have endothelial vascular tumors and when we talk about endothelial vascular tumors what are the sub tumors under this we have hemangioma students this is what is very simple and you can say it's also considered to be one of a very common benign tumor a vascular tumor so hemangioma we have then we have hemangioma syndromes so hemangioma we have hemangioma syndromes then we have uh, angiosarcoma angiosarcoma yeah then we also have something which is known as hemangio endothelioma so hemangio hemangio endothelioma endothelioma it may be flebectaceous also flebectaceous so when we are talking about the classical epithelial vascular relations we have them now when we talk about the non epithelial vascular relations what are the classical non epithelial non epithelial vascular relations in this the first that we have to keep in our mind is hemangiopericytoma so hemangio hemangio pericytoma this is one the another one that we have heard of is kaposi sarcoma so we have kaposi sarcoma so these are the classical uh, you can say vascular tumors that we need to understand when we talk about the obstructive let us talk about the obstructive profile so what are the obstructive gi lesions now this obstruction again depends on where and what so it may be multi vessel so it may be multi vessel 
and when we talk about the multi vessel involvement it is nothing better explained than chronic mesenteric ischemia so we have chronic mesenteric ischemia mesenteric ischemia so details on this it's if i start discussing every lesion it will become a huge maybe 4 hour 5 hour so my app is going to get launched on uh, the in the first week of Ju uh, july that's going to be by the name of surgery dada so that is an app exclusively for the surgery residents and the super specialty guys so those who are preparing for super specialty you keep on bothering me sir when are, you, when are you starting your own when are you starting your own previously i was associated with different platforms but now i will be taking here and those who want to study the need pg or those who are preparing for fmg alan next is there you know everywhere we have offline and online classes anyway let us come back so chronic mesenteric ischemia is one when we have a multi vessel involvement the another one is it could be colonic so if the obstruction to the vessel is colonic what is that we are i'm talking about ischemic colitis ischemic colitis or it may be the superior mesenteric compression obstruction so it may be superior mesenteric artery and vein both may be involved and you know there is something which is known as sms syndrome also or there are a lot of things now when we talk about the structural lesions so when we talk about the structural lesions what are the classical structural structural gi vascular lesion so when we talk about structural vascular lesions so first thing that you need to understand in this lesions we have three things what are the three things the first is we have the venous system so what are the venous gi lesions i hope you uh, all know about the varices so esophageal varices this is one so one is esophageal varices the another one that we have is hemorrhoids so hemorrhoids and esophageal varices they are varices you can say the second thing that we have is capillary so when we talk about the capillary so what are the lesions which involve at the level or which evolve at the level of capillary the first is your uh, gave i hope you know watermelon stomach or gastro uh, gastric enteral vascular rectation gave is very 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 important uh, you can say source of gi bleed in stomach from the antrum then we have uh, something when we talk uh, which is similar like gave but not arising from the you can say from the antrum but located in the proximal stomach and what is that portal hypertensive gastropathy remember we have a classical snake skin appearance in portal hypertensive gastropathy one classical point of difference is that beta blockers are responsive to the patients of portal hypertensive gastropathy and in gave it is not gave is involving the distal part of the stomach that is antrum whereas portal hypertensive gastropathy involves a proximal stomach so we have portal portal hypertensive gastro Pathy. this is one very important basic thing that we need to understand the third in this category it could be arterio venous so av arterio venous involving both so what are the lesions here we have angiodysplasia this is what is very common so angiodysplasia uh, you have the classical vascular tuft appearance the most common site for them is uh, cecum ascending colon and then jejunum so angiodysplasia is very important cause of massive lower gi bleed in elderly massive remember the most common cause of lower gi bleed is diverticulosis but diverticulosis is not a vascular lesion that is why i have not kept it here that's a source of bleeding that's a different thing but that's not a vascular lesion so the another one we have telangiectasias so we have telangiectasias as the another arterial ve venous gastrointestinal vascular lesion the fourth in this category is arterial now when we talk about the arterial lesions only what are the lesions that we will study here the first here is dule foys so dule foys lesion what we talk about dule foys lesion there are a lot of confusions remember it is dilated tortuous submucosal artery but the classical difference when we talk about dule foys and uh, you can say a peptic ulcer a disease related vessel so remember there is a protrusion pigmented protrusion nipple like protrusion but erosion or ulceration is never seen if there is ulceration and a vessel is visible so you might be tempted to say okay this is a dilated vein at the level of the ulcer and uh, it looks at uh, that it's submucosal and i should say that it's a dulefoys no if it is 
breach of the serosa and if the vessel is visible it could be anything but not a dulefois a dulefois is having a protrusion it might rupture it might bleed edema is there pigmentation is there but ulceration is not seen this is what is very 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 important the second that we need to understand here is heller den loss so heller den loss i hope you know heller den loss syndrome because of the medial degeneration the vessels are too weak the third is the third is pseudoxanthoma pseudoxanthoma elasticum so pseudoxanthoma elasticum this is again very 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 important so with this i just uh, finish this small you can say uh, topic of gastrointestinal vascular lesions where i have tried to combine all of them again it could be extrinsic versus intrinsic Ext intrinsic it could be tumors it could be the structural anomalies it could be the obstruction it could be the inflammatory and then in tumors you have the endothelial tumors versus non endothelial tumors so it's very 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 important when you talk about obstructive it could be mesenteric ischemia it could be ischemic colitis and then structural i have told based upon artery vein or arterio venous this is what so do subscribe to my channel and if you want to take my face to face classes ln next is organizing my classes in delhi in uh, hydra uh, in hyderabad we have not still started in bangalore we have started so do do go to the website the ln next app is available in ios and in play store also so do download and check my exciting content and those who are preparing for neat ss or super specialty or they want to excel in their residency stay tuned for some more updates and i'm launching my own app so till then bye bye i hope you enjoyed this small dose of surgery